So I got the carburetor here and one of the things that I don't like is the fact that float does not sit level. See how it's angled up? This should be level like this. So what I think might be happening is that the uh, the needle is seating against the seat too prematurely and so the bowl is not able to fill up with enough fuel. Because this should be level. This should this should be level here because it seats like this then I really don't think you can get that much fuel in the bottom of the bowl before the flow is shut off by this by the needle and seat so what I think I'm going to try to do is see if I can pull out that seat I got some Briggs needle and seat here that I think is the part that we need try a new needle and a new seat possibly that little rubber seat down in there is swollen and uh, as a result the fuel flow is being cut off prematurely. So let me see if I can pull that out. Now one of the ways that I like to pull that out, believe it or not, is with one of my wife's crochet hooks. It's got a little hook on the end. I can go down in there and grab that and yank it out. Of course I got to go find uh, one of those. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is this is one of those fine crochet hooks. Not for yarn, but for a fine thread. And I'm going to try to reach down in there. This one might... Actually, it's too fine. I'm not able to grab it. And I see that, uh, and the seat in there is very soft rubber, it's sort of deteriorated, and it's kind of falling apart on me. There we go. There he is. See that guy? All right. We're gonna save this guy and make sure I give him back so I don't get in trouble. Now I'm gonna shoot it, shoot, clean this out by shooting some of the carb spray through the fuel line. Because I don't want the little residue from the old one stuck in there. To gum up the works <clears throat> okay so I ordered a new needle and seat carb kit there's the needle I already pushed the seat down in there at first I thought that perhaps it was not the right size because it went in so easily and I'm sure you can't even see that zoomed in but it seems okay after all I took a nail used the head of the nail to press it down tightly into place and I think it's going to be just fine. Now let's put the float back on and see if it's more level than it previously had been. I'm okay. There we go. All right, so take a look at that. Remember before it was like this? Now it's like this. What that means is, when we've got the bowl on, more fuel will fill up that bowl before the flow is shut off by the rising float. And I think having more fuel in the bottom of the bowl is going to solve the problem that we were having with this carburetor when it was prematurely shutting off the flow of fuel because the swollen seat 
had it like this. We just had did not have enough fuel in the bottom of that carburetor bowl. So I am pretty excited. Because I think this is going to make a difference. It's going to solve that surging, stalling out, fuel-starved situation that we had before. So let's put it back on the machine and see if it's going to fire up and how it'll run. Well, there you have it. It sure sounds a lot better. Uh, no more surging, struggling, acting like there was no gas, stalling out. That's running really smooth. So that little carburetor trick with the new needle and seat served us really well. So this is a snow blower, but that's true on any small engine and carburetor. Um, it's got to have enough fuel in that bowl. So I was glad I discovered that when we were looking at the carburetor. I'm Buck WSR Weezer. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye bye.